the mandate that the judge gave, this, the order to the attorney general, Judge Badios' order to the attorney general, uh, Pasi Pas, to further investigate everyone involved in Rio Simon's crimes, that could encompass a U.S. officials, because the U.S. military attaches in Guatemala, the CIA people who were on the ground aiding the G2 military intelligence uh, unit, the uh, policymaking officials back in Washington, people like Elliot Abrams and the other high officials of the Reagan administration, they were direct uh, accessories to and accomplices uh, to the Guatemalan military. They were supplying uh, money, uh, weapons, uh, political support intelligence. Uh, they, uh, under the law, under international and Guatemalan law, they could be charged. Uh, the courts uh, and the attorney general could have the right to seek their extradition from the U.S. Also, in the investigation process, they could subpoena U.S. documents, because there would be extensive uh, reports and National Security Agency intercepts of Guatemalan army communications from that period. And uh, there would also be uh, still classified reports on exactly uh, what the CIA and the DIA uh, and the White House and the State Department uh, were doing uh, with Rios Montt uh, and with the commanders in the field. People like, uh, well, before Rios Montt, General Benedicto Lucas Garcia, afterward uh, uh, Perez Molina. Uh, so uh, both President Perez Molina and the U.S., uh, are now uh, potential targets for criminal investigation for these crimes of genocide, crimes against humanity in Guatemala.